Hi everyone, this is Tanya Thompson from fitroflow.com and I hope you're doing really well today. Today we're doing a magic circle glute and leg workout. And let me tell you, this circle takes your session to the next level, especially if you're doing these home workouts. If you don't have one, you can go onto our website, to the equipment shop, they're available there. And you really want to go and get yourself a good quality one so that it gives you the right resistance and it lasts longer. So without further ado, let's get started. So you're going to take this magic circle and place your legs inside of it. You're gonna lie on your back and I want you to get that pelvis into that neutral position. Palms are up, shoulders are completely relaxed over there. My feet are parallel hip distance apart and they're not rolling out, they're not rolling in, they're not looking in all different directions. They're as straight as they can be. From there, I want you to put just a gentle amount of pressure on that magic circle. I've got that gentle space in my lower back. You're gonna inhale there. And just exhale, find that core contraction that we've spoken about, where we activate the abdominals. We get that gentle pull up of the pelvic floor and a little bit of activation in that lower back. And inhale again. And exhale. Just that gentle core contraction. You can feel that it's really getting firm and this waist is narrowing and I've got a little bit of pressure happening in my back. One more deep inhale. And exhale, really drawing it down and just narrowing the waist. And I'm still opening that circle with a little bit of effort. Keep the gentle effort because we're gonna increase it as we go along and we don't wanna die from the word get go. Right, so we're gonna inhale there. Exhale, you're gonna press your lower back into the floor, going into that pelvic curl, curling all the way up into that diagonal line. So we really wanna get that extended hip over there, stretching over the front there, stretching over the front there working in the back because now I've got a little bit of pressure open on that circle so it makes it easier to activate into the glutes. Inhale, exhale, curling down. So while we're working the glutes, we're still getting that amazing spinal massage and gently controlling it to neutral, maintaining the abdominals. I can feel I've shuffled up on the mat so you can just shuffle down a little bit if you feel that your body has slid. You're gonna inhale here. Exhale, tucking that pelvis through, gently peeling the spine up so that distance feels much better for me now. My feet are the perfect distance away from my glutes. I'm opening that circle gently, inhale. Exhale, my abdominals are contracting. They're pressing the ribs down and I'm still opening the circle and I can feel the glutes are active and then gently controlling it back down. One more like that with a gentle pressure on the circle. Inhale. Exhale. Tummy draws this pelvis through. We're massaging the spine. We're opening that circle gently, activating in those glutes, going all the way up. Hold it here, inhale. Exhale, gently curving all the way down every single vertebra, keeping that gentle pressure on the circle and back to neutral. All right, just release the circle for a moment. Now we're gonna increase it. I really want you to try and break that circle. So let's take our arms up to the ceiling and make sure we're not using them on the mat. Inhale. Exhale, open that circle to the maximum and start curling up through the spine. Trying to break that circle. Whew, I can feel that working beautifully. You're thinking of curling that pubic bone through. So you don't want it hanging down there. You really want it to tuck through towards you as much as you can. Inhale. Exhale, curving down. We're just doing four of these. 
It's slow and controlled, but it is super effective. Inhale. Exhale, tucking this pelvis through, pressing that back down, peeling the spine all the way up and holding it over there. Inhale. Exhale, gently curving it down, lengthening the spine, keeping the chin in. I'm still trying to break that circle and taking it back to neutral. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Tummy draws that pelvis through, gently peeling that spine all the way up into that diagonal line. Shoulders, hips and knees. Inhale. Exhale, gently curving all the way down every single vertebra. Tummy is holding on so I'm not bulging it up to the ceiling and controlling it to neutral. Inhale. Exhale, gently tucking the pelvis through, opening those knees out, and we're slowly peeling the spine all the way up into that diagonal line. This is our last one. Inhale. And exhale, gently curving all the way down every single vertebra, hanging in the back, hanging in the back, and gently release it. Keep that there for me. You can relax your arms by your sides. Just release the circle for a moment because the muscles have really been working intensely. You're going to inhale there. Exhale, press the circle open. Keep that neutral pelvis. No rolling through the spine. Hinge the pelvis straight up to the ceiling, opening that circle. Diagonal line, ribs are closed. Inhale, controlling it down without curving through the spine. And exhale, pressing it up, tucking that pelvis through. I'm dying. And then inhale, controlling it down. We're going to do five. Give that circle a press, hey? So don't waste your time. Reaching it up to and hold. And inhale, controlling it down. And last two for me, reaching it up. Hold and slowly controlling it down. Last one. Exhale, pressing it up. We're going to keep this one here. We gently pulse open. We pull one, pulling two, tummy holds on three. I'm not letting this go. Four, keep that height. Five, arms relaxed. And seven, and eight. Nine, we're going to hold it here. I know that it's burning like fire. Little tucks up with the glutes. We lift one, lifting two, and three, tucking four, and five, lifting six, and seven, and eight, nine, lift and hold it there. You're going to inhale. Exhale, I'm going to ask you to curve down through your spine, every single vertebra. You still have that circle open, control it to neutral. Bend your knees in, grab that circle, and just pull your knees close to your chest, holding it there for me. So we don't want to stretch it way too much and take it into a full stretch because it will actually resist that stretch now because it's been working so intensely. So I just want to give it a gentle stretch. Rock left, rock right. Let's go one more left and one more right. That feels fantastic. Bring it back to the center and you're slowly going to place your feet down. Now you're going to put your heels together and you're going to keep your knees open. All right. So you can see my toes are apart and my heels are together. So it actually looks like that. All right. So now we're favoring the glutes because this is the position that they actually really like to do is turning your legs out. So your arms are by your sides, same distance with your feet from your glutes, abdominals holding on, we're in that neutral pelvis. We're not going to do the roll through the spine, we're going to hinge up. Inhale there for me. Exhale, pressing the circle open, you're going to hold it there. And then you're gently going to hinge that pelvis up, still pressing open on the circle. And you'll feel how it gets a greater part of your glute now. 
Previously, it felt like it was really on the outside. Now it's going all the way into the center, diagonal line, tucking that pelvis through, and then gently controlling it down. Something you can check is if your circle is skew because that can be really annoying and it doesn't feel like it's getting that same pull on both sides. So inhale, exhale, gently pressing it open and hinging up, opening the knees out. You're exposing the pubic bone, opening the hips out. Everything up here is completely relaxed. And then inhale, hinging it back down. And exhale, gently hinging it up opening those knees out, hold, and inhale, hinging it down, and exhale, pressing it up, hinge and hold, and inhale, lowering down. So you'll see we're not doing thousands of reps, but we're doing them slow, controlled, and we're breaking that circle. Don't forget to do that. And then inhale, controlling it down. And exhale, pressing it up and hold. And inhale, slowly lowering it down. One more. And pressing it up. We're going to keep this here. Gentle pulses open with the knees. We pull one, pulling two, open three, and four, pulling five. Keep that diagonal. Six, stay as high as you can. Seven. And eight, nine, keep it open. Let's float the arms up to make sure we're not using them. Little tucks up, one, lifting two, and three, lifting four, and five, up, six, lift, seven, and eight, nine, lift, and hold it there for me. You're gonna inhale. Exhale, gently curving all the way down, pressing the spine into the mat, controlling it to neutral. Bring the legs parallel, hold onto the circle, bringing your knees into your chest. So that again is just going to allow it to release. You can just circle the ankles there just to keep that blood flowing, getting those joints nice and loose. You can alternate it, you can do it same direction. You can do it opening it out just to allow the glute to release. We rock left, rock right, and left, and right. Bring it back to the center, right. From there, you're going to lie on your side. So this one is fantastic. So I've got my legs right out in front of me over there, 90 degree angle. And I'm resting down on the mat. Super important is that small space over there that you want to try and create. Everybody's bodies are different. So if your torso is resting on the mat, just feel like you're holding it a little bit over there so that this hip at least doesn't drop towards this shoulder. All right? So I'll do that so that you can see it properly. Right, so we've got our legs 90 degrees. The bottom leg is holding the circle. The top leg is going to press up against the circle in this position. So from there, we lift the leg up. We pull on that circle. And then we slowly control it down. And we lift the leg up, pulling on the circle. And then gently controlling it down. You're going to feel it on both sides. And lifting it up. This one is stabilizing and holding that circle. Because you're trying to pull the circle away from it and lowering it down and lifting it up. My tummy is still holding on, so I'm not losing my stability and lowering it down and gently lifting it up and hold and slowly controlling it down and exhale, lifting it up and hold and gently lowering it down. Make it count for you and lifting it up, separating that circle, it works like a bomb, and lowering it back down, and lifting it up, and hold, and gently lowering it down, and lift it up, last three, hold, and slowly controlling it down, and last two, lifting it up, and hold, and gently controlling it down, this one, we're going to lift and keep it there. Good luck for this one. We lift and we hold it. 
Little ones up. Don't just jerk it. Really slow and controlled. One. Lifting two. And three. Lifting four. And five. Lifting six. Seven. And eight. Nine. Lift and hold it, hold it, hold it. And placing it down. Fantastic. Good. So you're going to flip over to the other side. This is going to be underneath this knee now. Remember the legs are 90 degrees. You're lying flat on your side, really trying to maintain a small space or at least not dropping this hip towards you because then all the glute work disappears. So 90 degrees, relaxing your head down, no tension over here. Inhale. Exhale, pressing it up against that circle, keeping that 90, and then slowly lowering it down. And exhale, bring it up and hold, and gently lowering it down. And exhale, lifting it up and hold, and slowly lowering it down. That pause is super important. And lifting it up, pause, hold and gently lowering it down and lifting it up and hold and slowly controlling it down and lifting it up and resist and slowly controlling it down give it the best push you can lifting it up and push it as hard as you can and controlling it down last three we lift it and we hold and press and slowly lowering it down. And lift and hold and press and gently controlling it down. Last one, lift and hold it there for me. Little pulses, one, no jerking, two and three and four, lifting five and six, it's on fire. Seven and eight, nine, lift and hold it there and relaxing it down. Excellent. Lie on your back for me. Just pull the knees in just to allow a gentle stretch, not overdoing it because it will resist that stretch because it's still in an intense contraction. Gently rock your legs over to the one side and I actually hold this one particularly and I pull it over just to increase that stretch, taking it over to the other side and really pulling on this right one and over to the left, pulling that left one towards me and then over to the right, pulling that right one towards me and slowly relax. Excellent. You're going to come up for me now. And you're going to be on your side. The circle is going to be resting on your foot. And this leg is going to be straight like that. Two straight legs holding the circle. So sometimes it can be a bit daunting on getting the balance of the circle. But after you've done it a couple of times, you'll see you're pretty coordinated. Right, so you're lifting up on this side. Try and not relax on the beach. You want to lift right out of it. Try and get the circle in line with your body or at least slightly, really slightly in front of you, but not too far in front of you, okay? Because you're trying to get those glutes. This top leg, turn it out for me if you can. So now we're getting that glute active at the back here. Reaching out of the shoulder, we're going to lift that leg up. One, and place it down. And lifting two, try and pull the leg behind you as you do it. And three, and lower. And four, and down and five, and lower, lifting six, and lower, so I'm lifting up and back, seven, and lower, up and back, eight, and lower, lifting nine, and lower, last one, hold it there for five, four, three, two, one, and relax it, fantastic, over to the other side. So we're going to put both the legs inside the circle, just resting it on that ankle. Straight leg up there, lifting out of the shoulder, turning this leg up. If you're struggling to turn the leg up, it's okay. You can keep it parallel for now. Remember, lift and pull back. From there, 
We lift it up and pull back. One. And release. Lift and pull back. Two. And release. Lift and pull back. Three. I'm still lifted here. And release. Lift and pull back. Four. And release. Lift and pull back. Five. It's burning. Release. Lift and pull back. Six. And release. Lift and pull back. Seven. And release. Lift and pull back. Eight. Release. Lift and pull back. Nine. Release. Last one. Hold it there for five. Woo! Four. You'll see that will bounce. Three. Two. One. And relax it. Absolutely deadly. Right. Here's a little bit of coordination for you. So you're going to place the circle inside your legs for me, taking it up to the ankles on the outside, okay? So that in itself is going to take a little bit of coordination, but the more you do it, the easier it will become. So I've got it there on my ankles. You're now going to rest your head on your hands. And I want you to think of not curving over. You just want to drop your chest and pull your elbows really far away from you then I know your upper body on your neck is fine, all right? You're gonna open your knees slightly and don't just allow your stomach to drop into the floor. You wanna pull your tummy off of the mat a little bit. So you're actually contracting it, not sucking it in and just making it skinny. Give it a good active contraction. Rest your head on your hands over there. Your tummy is holding on and you're gonna lift your knees off of the mat. <laughs> and it's already working. So we're just gonna do that while we press that circle open gently, okay? So we're down with the knees. Exhale, lifting it up, opening the circle one, and slowly lower. Exhale, lift it up, open the circle two, and gently lower. Exhale, lifting it up, open the circle three, and gently lower. Exhale, lifting it up, open the circle, four, and slowly lower. And exhale, lifting it up, open it, five, and gently lower. You should feel this. And lifting it up, six, and don't forget to open it. And lower it, targeting these guys. And lifting, seven, and lower. And exhale, lifting, eight, and lower. Tummy draws deep, nine, you can feel it's active in the front, and lower. And last one, extend, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, placing it down. I want you to straighten your legs out for me, with your legs inside the circle. You'll see mine is resting on the floor for now, just for a brief moment. Actually bend your knees for me, and just do that with your pelvis just to allow those glutes to release for a moment. Right, now we're going to extend those legs out, straight knees, and try and get that circle off of the floor and turn your legs out so you'll see there's parallel. And think about a dancer and just laterally rotate because now I'm really into my glutes there. Right, this time I want you to lift up in your back a little bit. So you might feel it working in your back. That is not a bad thing. We've got to strengthen our backs. Just get the abdominals holding on in the front for me over there. So straight legs over there, inhale. Exhale, pulling it open. One, and release. And pulling it open, two, and release. And opening it, three, and release. And open, four, and release. Tummy draws, five, and release. And open, six, and release. And pushing, seven, and release. Try and break it, eight, and release. And opening it, nine, and release. And last one, we're gonna hold it there for five, four, three, two, one, and bend the legs in. Take the circle lower down for me now, please. So we're taking it lower, sort of towards the knees. There we go. So I've definitely got it lower. 
Holding on again with the abdominals in the front. Lift your head a few centimeters or inches off of the mat. Let's give those feet a good point because we actually don't do that enough. Right, so from there, I want the heels together and the knees apart, pressing up against that circle. You're going to exhale, lift the knees off, open that circle and lower it down. And lifting the knees off and opening that circle, digging my heels into each other and lowering it down. And exhale, lifting the knees off, opening the circle and controlling it down. And exhale, lifting the knees off, opening the circle, and slowly lower. And exhale, lift the knees off, open the circle, and gently lower. And I think of pressing my pubic bone into this mat, and then slowly lower. Last two. And lifting it, and opening the knees, and slowly lower and gently lifting it up and open the knees. We're going to keep it there, pulsing open with those knees. Pull one and two, pulling three and four. It's working. Five and six, seven and eight, nine. Hold it. Five pulses up. Let's go. One, lifting two, tummy holds. Three, don't change this too much. Four, and hold it, hold it, and gently relax it. Excellent. Right, now we're going to do an exercise where we actually stand up with a circle. But you're not going to be all the way up. You're actually going to be quite low. So we're going to stay low down here. All right. Arms are straight out in front of you. You're going to inhale there. I've got parallel legs, and I'm holding the circle open like that, okay? So feet are parallel, arms are straight out in front of you. You can hear my heart rate is up. My breathing has increased. Right, we stay low. Look at my spinal position, so I'm not like this. I'm extended in that spine. Straight arms out. Inhale there for me. Exhale, open the circle. One, and control. And opening two, and control, and opening three, and release, and wide, four, try and break it, and release, and opening five, and release, and wide, six, release, exhale, seven, this whole done, release, exhale, eight, Release, don't let this bulge for you. Nine. Release. Last one. Hold it. Gentle pulses open. And I'm still holding on there. Pulling one and two and three and four. Pulling five and six. Open seven and eight. Nine, open and hold it, hold it, hold it, and gently relax. Go all the way down for me there, and just stay low, just to let those glutes release, but not overstretching them, because we don't want to do that either. Right, we're going to do one more set of that. Whew, bringing it up, finding that position. Inhale, exhale, opening it out, tummy draws one, and release. Open two, you'll feel these working two, and these three, and release. Opening four, release. Wide five, release. Opening six, release. If you want to make it more challenging, seven, hands behind your head, release. Opening eight, if you want to challenge more, rotate. Nine, release. Last one, 10, bring it to the center. Pulse it open, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, hold it, and relax down to allow it to release. Go onto your back to me, please. Take your circle out completely. So you're just gonna put it to the side, totally relax on the mat. So we're just going to cement the contraction of the glutes, all right? Just roll on the mat like that, 
just to allow it to let go a little bit. Just feeling the spine rotating, maybe getting a gentle massage on those two tennis balls that we've created there now on the back. Or peaches, nice stiff peaches there. Right, I want you to put your heels together, feet apart, which means you look like that, okay? Let's cement this glute contraction to end off. 30 minutes of glute work, fantastic, done and dusted. Beautiful, strong glutes and hips on the way, reaching those arms up there, really open the legs out and lengthening your spine. Connect to that pelvis so you feel like you're not looking like this, but you've got energy in your body. Chin is in, inhale there. Exhale, we're gonna tuck this pelvis through, gently peeling all the way up through the spine, holding it there, inhale. Exhale, curving down through the spine, every single vertebra, and controlling it back to neutral. Inhale. Exhale, tummy draws the pelvis through, rolling all the way up, reach and hold. Inhale. Exhale, gently curving all the way down this time, Float your arms up above the head, relax them on the mat. If you struggle here, just open them a little bit wider. One more there, inhale. And exhale, gently tucking that pelvis through, rolling all the way up, hold, inhale. And exhale, curving down through the spine, hanging in the back and controlling it to neutral. From there, straighten your legs out on the mat. Keep your arms exactly where they are and allow everything just to relax. So now you're just gonna do that gentle relaxation, lengthening the back of the neck, bringing your tempo of breathing down. So you're just slowing the breathing down Take a really deep inhale over here. Exhale, gently blowing all the air out. And feeling your body's heavy and resting on the mat. Close your eyes for me there. And a deep, deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. And just feel that everything in your body from head to toe, your fingertips, your arms, your shoulders, your neck. You can roll your head from side to side. It's all completely relaxed. Take one last deep inhale. Exhale, blowing it all out. Slowly bend your legs, grab under your knees, and curl yourself up onto your mat. Fantastic. Well done. So that was a phenomenal glute exercise and a phenomenal glute session. If you feel like you were struggling to activate your glutes, you just keep doing this session and you're going to feel it's going to start kicking in better and better every time. Because the one problem that we have with our glutes is they are fast asleep. Because we hardly use them, we hardly load them by picking up heavy things, so they really are lazy. But if you do this one over and over, they're bound to get better, get stronger, look better and feel great. Take care.